Well, before we begin, I wanted to make an announcement. I'm Deacon Rick Strong with First Lutheran Church, for those of you who don't know me. And I love to shake hands and I love to give hugs, but in this social distancing time, I think we'll just, I'll just wave at you. That sounds better. Well, let's begin. I'm going to begin with a reading from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right paths for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Well, grace and peace from our Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and powerful, by the death and burial of Jesus, your anointed, you have destroyed the power of death and made holy the resting place of all your people. Keep our sister Bonnie, whose body we now lay to rest in the company of all your saints. And at the last, O oh God, raise her up to share with all the faithful the endless joy and peace you won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God, our Maker, to whom we belong. We are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the gates of the Lord with thanksgiving and the courts with praise. Give thanks and bless God's holy name. Good indeed is the Lord, whose steadfast love is, ever, is, is everlasting, whose faithfulness endures from age to age. Well, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our sister Bonnie, and we commit her body to its resting place, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord's face shine on her with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon her with favor and give her peace. Amen. Rest eternal, grant her, O Lord, and light, and let your light perpetually shine upon her. Let us pray. Merciful God, you heal the brokenhearted and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness. Calm our troubled spirits and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ's rising from the dead, you conquered death and opened the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you that by the power of your love, we shall one day be brought together again with our sister Bonnie. Grant this, we pray, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now receive the blessing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. This ends our service today. Let us go in peace.